Okay, in today's video, uh, what we're going to be talking about is basically adding some SSVs to set uh, different attributes as far as the servos goes. So um, what we'll do is make a, a, a new routine, right? And uh, we'll make this just a standard uh, ladder logic routine. And we'll put servo um, config. So that way we have a, a config for the servo. Um, we'll come up here and again throw a JSR. Um, so I'd, I'd like to, that, that's one thing I want to highlight too because I had a question about that. Um, I, I uh, double click right here and type in JSR. Um, and that gives me my JSR. Now if I were to come up here and to my normal function and just go to JSR, I would get um, like my program control. If I just did that JSR here, I'm going to get the JSR with parameters. And even if I don't want to use those, you know, it's just, it's, you know, I can just sit here and do that and get it back. You see that? I mean, I can, there's ways to get it back, but, um, I just wanted to show you that there's an easier way by just, you know, typing it in up top. So again, um, it's, it's done. So we added that. Um, let's go to our servo config. Of course, we don't have anything. Um, what we can do is, uh, basically, um, we can start adding our JS, our, our SSVs in there. Let me sit something under my, my laptop is actually getting hot. Um, what I can do is actually start doing the, um, SSVs. So I'll do an SSV and then I'll do, uh, Actually, what I'll do is I'll take that, and for this instance, I'll copy and paste it. Um, what we're going to do is set an axis, so the class will always be an axis. If you're setting something like this, the instance will be the axis you want to talk about, or your instance you want to actually influence. In our case, it would be the first axis we have, the first physical axis. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. The uh, attribute itself will be what we want to actually influence. Now this is the configuration of uh, some of the parameters you, that you can't get, right? So some things that you can't get are maybe you can't influence without actually going into the properties and changing them or even some things that you can't um, you can't access without you know using an SSV. Um, so what we're going to be doing in this one is first and foremost we want to set our torque uh, limits so we'll, we'll do our positive limit and then we'll do our negative limit. So what we want to do is come in here and set these. Um, and this, again, you just go through and check these, right? You go through, I mean, alphabetical order is great. Um, you do positive and negative. So uh, a lot of people would say, well, how do you get positive and negative, right? So um, one thing you can do is make your tags as you can say uh, basically the positive and negative limit so you want to say um, uh, positive uh, axis one positive torque limit now, it's important, again, to when you're doing stuff like this to set the correct um, thing. So um, your data type, so you want to have this as a real, right? So now we've created that, and we want to do basically the same thing. So I'll, I'll copy and paste it, and I won't paste it. I'll make a new tag, paste it in, uh, and what I'll do is I'll just call this negative, right? So negative. And then again, it's important to verify your tag. So a lot of people just like to go ahead and qu quickly uh, check the create tag. Uh, the, your data type is very important. So make sure you double check that. So you don't want to be making the tag several times or trying to figure out for that matter why you can't do something. So uh, next thing I want to do is throw some moves in here. Okay, so... Um, what I wanted to do is I'll call this move, this, I'll say axis, axis 01 uh, torque 
uh, limit. And then again, I'm going to make this a real. And then I'll change this. Um, I'll, what I'm going to do is go to uh, math and then change that to a negate uh, instead of a move. So I'll take this into there. So the torque limit I have, and I'll put this one as the positive and this one as the negative and then whatever I put I choose to put in here so if I choose my torque limit to be 75% um, then therefore it's going to have a 75% positive and then a 75% negative so um, and that's because I'm using the negate again the negate feature is just a uh, mathematical feature that it uh, basically changes um, positive to negative. So if you want to read up on that, feel free to open that up and read up on that. I not, um, just kind of wanted to, to show you. You'll see when I assemble this. So you'll see that the positive and negative are now in there. Um, so it's easily set uh, as far as the, um, you know, as far as that the servo um, torque limit positive and servo, servo torque limit negative and you can easily come back and just change these so you can change those to a hundred if you wanted to um, you know that way you have a, a positive negative limit in there so we'll keep ours at 75 for that that matter uh, there's a couple more things to um, you know as far as SSVs and again I'm, I'm a big advocate of um, you know so now I have a rung right here I mean yeah of course I can go uh, to uh, you know like program controls uh, and, and get stuff that I want um, I'm a big thing uh, you know a big advocate of you know knowing instead of just digging around up here because sometimes we forget where things are because um, you know we're all just creatures of habit so that's, that's something that happens right I mean most of the time you know where the, your most favorite things are and stuff like that but as far as you know SSV GSV I believe it is later on in the, in the program so it uh, it's not special it's not in math um, <clears throat> I thought it was in program control but that's just like jump to subroutines and stuff of that nature so uh, equipment phase sequencer uh, file shift file uh, moves so again you know you, you kind of got things that, that um, the easier thing to do for me is always just to double click if I know what I want and I just type in SSV you know and that's just a simple simple way to do it um, if you know what you're gonna do it's just simply double click it and then the only reason it has a bunch of question marks right here is because I haven't filled it out. If you looked at this one and you did the same thing, you could see everything I did. See what I'm saying? So um, this is basically the way it's actually written out. So not to get too far into that. Um, what I what I wanted to do again. Okay, so axis um, again. So we're writing the configuration for the axis. We're doing the uh, instance would be the axis we want to write to. Um, this would be either your status, your inner, inner uh, interface, and then again, you get your configuration. Um, you can do just about anything you want to pick, um, and I just wanted to show you that. You know, you the, I would be kind of careful with some of it, like the homing mode, direction, um, the homing position. That's a that's another one that you can. It's a real common one to use. And then again, always put, so let's, let's put axis, axis 01, um, home, uh, home position. Okay. And then always double check your data type, right? So again, in servos, servos positioning, servo, um, and velocities any just about anything to do with servos you, you want it to be a real um, in that case uh, we want we do want this to be a home position of zero so we'll keep it at a home position of zero okay so uh, we now we've written a couple things in our um, configuration 
you if you're going to write out a big configuration i would say you know keep this as um keep this as a instead of a you know going through and, and having this a constant jump to subroutine you can have this like just a write um one time and then when it's done writing uh, you know just just disable it meaning uh have it latch and then come back and unlatch it so we can actually come back and do that uh you know if you want i can show you how that's done but for this matter um i just wanted to show you the fact of you know adding in a couple of different points uh, ssvs and stuff like that if you're just wanting to set hard-coded numbers and not have to go constantly open this up uh open up the uh, properties so now with it with me writing the home position if i go to change the home position right i can't change the home position um because if i do you know it's it's basically gonna um it's gonna have a um it's not gonna accept it because i'm actually writing that value in there um and you can change a, a lot of this stuff you know the same way you can you can go in here and, and uh you know that it's kind of opening up the the world to you you know as far as that goes using ssvs i will say if you're using it in SSV live, um, then be be very careful that you're doing it right, because again, you could be writing something uh, to a tag that doesn't have or doesn't is not capable, and sometimes it, in the earlier versions it would cause a problem. In the later versions, like I said, if you're running 20 or above, most likely you know all the bugs are worked out. Um, especially in the higher versions so uh, just be careful but uh, also wanted to show you how this is done real quick just a real simple cut and dry method so again um, just wanted to kind of highlight that and uh, thank you and uh, just keep on with the training all right